Hello YouTube, uh, today we're going to be building incident reports. Now I sound really excited because I finally figured out how to work it. It took me a little bit of time and now I'm going to show you. Now everyone sees incident reports as these negative things. Jimmy stuck on a razor sharp his nose, Sally bit Timmy, that kind of stuff. But today our incident reports, uh, they're going to be towards the positive. And these incident reports will actually be able to be sent out to parents, they'll be able to send out to teachers, to principals, um, all depending on what the student's homeroom is. Uh, it is a little bit labor intensive, so we are going to break it down into two different parts. The first part is going to be the actual creation of the survey using Google Forms as well as Form Ranger, and the second part is going to be really the the analysis, the sending out of the emails, and uh, the automation of everything using eMule and also copy down. I hope you guys are ready because I am super excited. All right, let's get started. So to start off with this incident report form, we have to first create the incident report form. Um, so let's open uh, Google Forms. And I'm just gonna make it very simple today. Of course, you can make it as elaborate as you want. So let's start off with, uh, with the title. Incident report form, we're gonna say positive just because we're gonna try and put a nice twist on it. So now for the first question, as always, we want the name of the student. And we're going to change it to a text type question. So finish that. And now this question is really the most important one for sending the emails out to the teachers and to the principals. So we're going to choose a multiple choice question and we're just going to write class. Now you can write classes, name of class or year of grade or whatever you'd like. Um, I'm just going to name a class for now. And uh, let's think of some positive stuff to write. Uh, well, all right, we'll make another question and we'll say, when did this positive thing occur? Lunch, uh, recess, class, should be good enough for now. And then we'll think of a couple items. So what happened that was positive that I'd like to report? Well, let's think about this. Um, show initiative. What else can we say? Demonstrated leadership skills. As you can tell, I'm kind of doing this on the fly. Um, helped another student. And of course, this is, if this was going to be sent home to the parents, you don't want to give all the details because you don't want the parents to ask the students about it um, once they get home. Works well with others and lastly I like five so let's pick something else um, did well on their project perfect so now like I said this is just a simple one but we have name of student the class and we're just gonna leave class blank for now um, because in a couple seconds uh, I'll show you how to fill it and then we'll go when and what so now what I want to do, um, I want to prepare all the classes and what this enables me to do. So I just clicked on view responses. It, it makes my form timeless. So I can reuse it next year. Say the teachers change around. All that I have to do is come into this form and modify the couple changes that happen, making my life a ton easier rather than having to uh, remake it. So we have our new sheet and I'm just going to rename it um, classes we'll say and here I don't like form one responses so I'm just going to change that right now I like keeping everything simple so let's go responses so now in the new tab or in the new sheet called classes the things that we're going to want to well first off we're going to want the class um, we'll probably want the teacher's name we'll say And we'll want the teacher's email, and we'll want the principal's email as well, just in case they should be notified. So for our classes, we'll just start off with a simple JKSK, uh, grade one, grade two. Teacher's name, we'll put in Nick, Jim, Bob, and Jill. All right. Teacher's email address, I'll put an NX shoulder at gmail. Can't type this morning. Gmail.com. And I'll just drag and copy so I don't have to invent a whole bunch of different emails. Alright, so now we have this part set up. 
So we have all of the teacher's names. And say next year, if you wanted to reuse this, all that you have to do is switch out the teacher's name and email into the right grade. Now you could always add some on later if you wanted to as well. So let's go back to our form and uh, I'll show you how to automatically fill out this class section. So now if you could download the add-on called Form Ranger. Now to download the add-ons, you just go to Get Add-ons. And we'll do a little lookup for Form Ranger. That's all one word. So you just click here and then I think it says free or get it free or get it now or something like that. So you go, just click it and then uh, you accept the terms. Once it's downloaded, you're going to see something that looks like this. So what Form Ranger does, it searches throughout the form for multiple choice questions. And then from there, it can create lists from your Google Sheets. So I'm going to say that I want to populate from values for just the question class. And I want to create them from new from new value list. Now these values are going to be found on our incident report form responses sheet. Now it should be the first one here because they organize it by uh, recent documents. So I'll select that. And now where do I want to take the answers to that question from? If I return to my sheet, I'm going to want to take it from the sheet that's called classes, and I'm going to want to take it from column A. So I'm going to want the, the answers to either be JK, SK, 1, or 2. So select sheet, and I'm going to want it from classes, and I want to use the column that's called class. Perfect. So now these are going to be my questions. Beautiful. And now you have to add a title to it, just in case you want to reuse it for something else in Form Ranger. So I'm just going to call it class. And voila, automatically we have everything. So let's just test this out real quick. So name of student, we'll just call it test one. And something happened in JK. Uh, during lunch, the student helped another student. Submit. We'll go back to our form. We'll go back here. And we have our answers. This is normally where people stop when it comes to an incident report form, but in part two, we're going to take it one step further. We're going to add those emails. So the email notifications will go both to the teacher and to the principal. Um, it's going to be a little more complicated, so I hope you're ready.